y'all to do me one favor right now. If you know that you're walking in your blessing, I want you to get up right now and make some noise in this building here. I can't hear you. Aren't you glad about it tonight? If you're glad about it, put your hands together just like this for me. Worldwide podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double exile. And I'm from Haiti, but I don't live in Dominican Republic. I'm here, positive power to me one. Jerry was live worldwide. Yeah, yeah. You tell them, Davidson, you're listening to Worldwide, baby. This is Worldwide. Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jerry Woods Live Worldwide on Positive Power. Double X Side Christian Media. And hope everybody's doing all right. Amen. My check. All right, everybody, you're on next man up with Dr. Paul Kelly. Let's bring Dr. Paul Kelly. Get the show on the road. What's up, Dr. Paul Kelly? What's going on, sir? What's going on, Jerry Royce? God is good going on with you sir hallelujah amen sir we are praising god in here in the beautiful city of augusta georgia amen and getting ready to celebrate two of my children's birthdays amen my daughter paris and my son daniel march the 9th and march the 10th amen i could give them a shout out and a happy birthday amen of course that's Next year, one one was born one year, and the other was born the following year. <laughs> so, I feel you on that. So we're happy, sir. We're grateful. Hey, Amen. Shout out to the family. A lot of birthdays this month, man. I've been seeing a lot of people. Coach Coach birthday, Coach Danette Watson's birthday was on the fifth. Yeah, shout out to her. Happy. 
birthday. And they're watching. Hey, That's right. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, a lot of birthdays this month. And, um... Next, well, next month, I think, is Paula G in April, so uh, that's coming up. All right, Doc. We, we got a we got a powerful lineup of gentlemen, men of God, ready to do their thing. We got a powerful word. Hallelujah. The word tonight is the pride of life. Woo! Man, we're looking forward to this yeah. one, y'all. All right. Wow. wow. Welcome, Yes, y'all. sir. Much to, be, much to be said, sir. Much to be said. Right, we want. And we, this is coming from First John, chapter two, verse sixteen. I know you're going. You got something powerful for us to, tonight. We all looking hey. for it. And I'm gonna give everybody a quick update uh-huh. so we can give you guys a chance to because this 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 should be a two hour show. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to do a part two with our producer's permission. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I think so. With this powerful lineup. And uh, speaking of powerful Lana, we actually have super duper producer of Sean Ray Price and her family. And I'm sure he has a little something to do with the Price sisters, too. I'm, I'm almost certain of that. He, he might have to tell us hey, that he had anything to do with some of uh, Kelly Price music. Because this guy, his talent is ridiculous. And I'm talking about Dupree Owens, D.O. And Sean Ray Price's husband hey, got a chance hey. to... Meet this. Shay, Shay always teases him because he's he's always left with uh, taking pictures of everybody. You know, everybody's a camera ham, so so they was <laughs> they was hand him their phones to take pictures. So he he actually has a gift for for camera, you know, uh, videography or cinematography. Like many producers of music, they can do many things. You know, but anyway, we're gonna get a chance to talk to him when we bring him out. But he's he's gonna be on the Absolutely. he's part of the panel. Anyway, Dr. The, the the update for the night is at at eleven thirty on late night with Jerry was live and Paula G. We have Felicia Joseph. She's out of U First Management, and she's here to premiere her brand new music video called Jesus. And we're excited for her. She's a uh, oh, she's a beautiful woman. You probably catch her podcast on Tuesday nights. Uh, she she does this Tuesday night podcast. Been going off, believe a year now, and she has a great following um, i've been on that show matter of fact the two times i was on her show i said they had to been two of the best interviews i've ever had i was on there with um i was on there by myself i believe and um and the second i was on there with uh tina hobson it was kind of like super superhero uh day or something like that and it was a really um fantastic podcast she she really knows how to handle her business like you doc she's a great moderator she can handle them people that that don't know how to pass the mic <laughs> <laughs> she's she good at that. Oh Lord, hey, man. <laughs> yeah, she's real hey, man, good, sir. gifted, very Good gifted point. lady. Um, maybe one day we get her on Positive Power, man, on this on this platform. So uh, if anybody Hallelujah. looking to book her, you can get her at You First uh, Management under uh, Doctor Trinell Stewart. So if you want to book her to come uh, be part of your ministry, because she has many gifts, many many gifts, and we're looking forward to getting her here in the studio. You know, um, with the many uh, television shows that we're producing, God has blessed us just in 2018 going to 2019. I think we're almost up to seven television shows, almost seven. Only one hey, is not man. really been located on a show, but uh, out of the six, six of them actually have places on television networks, which is uh, simply awesome. <laughs> So, uh, yes, sir, amen, right. Jerry, amen. Yeah, so that's that's good. And also, uh, next update tomorrow, Charm City catch Lakeisha Mosley and Batman and Jordan. We're gonna be in Charm City on North Avenue, historical North Avenue. A lot of guys know the history of North Avenue. That's right, the famous Odells and Gatsby's. Uh, if you guys used to frequent ball, you know of those clubs and take you all the way to Thirty Second Street Plaza. Yeah, for those of you that used to, you know, like the, you know, like the jazz scene and the hip hop scene and the disco scene, that was the area where a lot of African Americans got their party on, and and, and it was great. No, nobody got. Oh, I don't remember people yeah. getting killed back then, <laughs> going out having a good time. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna be there, um, celebrating Anthony Avery's uh, CD release party. I think it kicks off the red carpet kicks off at two thirty. Uh, I don't know the exact address, but I believe it's on North and Charles Street, if I'm not mistaken. It's a cultural arts center over there. So go to his page. He has an event page up. Just look up Anthony Avery. That's right. CD release party. Lakeisha hey. Mosley and I will be on the red carpet. We're also going to have a table set up. We're going to be um, handing out some information about my journey to television show and um, and getting a chance to uh, do some selfies with some people. So come out and meet the Batman and Lakeisha Mosley. All right. Okay. Yeah, man. So um, I think that's it. Um 
Oh, and also my journey. We're going to be taping a live television taping of my journey in Atlanta on April thirteenth and fourteenth. We will be at the at the uh, the, the good acting studio. Uh, uh, it was in Marietta, Georgia, shooting live performances. So it's going to be a great t- opportunity for anybody looking to be on television. If you've never done it before, you got to try it. So come on out. And also, we're going to be doing interviews that evening all the way in through Sunday. So we need 13 shows, y'all. So come on out and hang out with Paula G, the voice, Lakeisha Mosley. You're going to have Shay Samuels supposed to be there. Dr. Paul Kelly going to be there. So come on out. Have some fun with the Positive Power family. Amen. Amen. Amen, sir. Amen, Amen. producer. Thank you, sir. Well, y'all, you guys have a great show. All right. Batman's all of me. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, award winning producer Jerry Royce live. Amen. Can you show him some love? Show him some love, robot. Hallelujah. Humble, young man, humble. Amen, amen. Thank you and welcome once again to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Christian Media, iHeart, and Spotify. We are ready for Next Man Up Spiritual Empowerment Men Summit. Thank everyone for tuning in. I am your host and moderator of this powerful panel. We have our men waiting in the queue. I'm Dr. Paul Kelly, president and dean of PTI. Yes, PTI is Pastors Time International online accredited Bible college where you can receive affordable, flexible, convenient, and quality higher spiritual education. Start your spiritual ed- education today. You can enroll at www.pastorstime.com or call us at 580-583-5181 and our register will help you enroll. Start your enrollment, your spiritual legacy today. Amen. Gentlemen, next man up, are you ready? Roll call. Amen. Roll call. Roll call. Uh, Actor, let's go with Minister Eric Williams. You in the queue. Yes, sir. Praise God. Next man up, Pastor Stephen Mann Turner. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Praise God. Podcaster, artist, minister, Miguel Esparza. What's up, man? God bless. Praise God. Producer, CEO, Dupree. Amen. Owens, D.O., you in the house, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to come back to him. Amen. Praise God. We'll check on him. Amen. Artist, Blaine, move the word, McDowell. You in the house, sir. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you, Blaine, he has a concert or some a ministry going on early in the morning. Hallelujah. We're going to give him a shout out. Thank you, producer. Praise God. Host, award-winning host of Let's Talk to the Lord, Apostle Johnny Ross. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Activist mentor, minister, Eric Williams, lifts us up in prayer, and we're going to get to this powerful topic. Father God, we thank you for your love and your mercy. Father God, we thank you for your joy and your peace. We we thank you because you're loving, you're caring, you're awesome. There's none like you, Father. We ask that you forgive us for all our sins, known and unknown. Cover us in your blood and give us what to say and how to say it, that you may get the glory. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Gentlemen, thank you for being here on this powerful spiritual men empowerment. Gentlemen, can y'all feel the power? Yes, sir. I can feel it. Amen. Uh, they can feel the power, Jerry Royce. Yeah, they excited tonight. Amen. Gentlemen, without further ado, in our nation, uh, the nation is ready for this powerful subject matter on tonight. Gentlemen, we're dealing with a, a, a subject matter on tonight. Amen. That talks about the pride of life. Amen. That's the topic on tonight. The pride of life. A subtopic is do not love the world. And our scripture reference for our viewers and nation, and we thank all of them for tuning in. Denny Jenkins, everyone out there, amen. We thank you all for tuning in to Next Man Up. We thank Wilbert Robertson, praise God. We thank each and every one of you for tuning in. Those who we can see and cannot see, we thank you all around the world, the nation, Dominican Republic, amen, the U.K., all over the country, the award-winning Jerry Roy's Live platform. We thank you. We love you. Amen. So thank you all for tuning in. Our topic on tonight, gentlemen, it talks about the pride of life. 
Amen. Out of First John two and sixteen. First John two and sixteen. For for the viewers' sake, I want to start at the fifteen verse, gentlemen, and we're gonna to get to this powerful topic. First John two, Amen. Fifteen read. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, Amen. Uh, it says the. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in, in him. That's self-explanatory. But our topic on tonight for practical purposes, amen, is coming from Brandon Royce, Brandon Simpson, amen, his commentary, talking points for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. Amen. And we're also going to be coming out of Romans 12 and 2, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Gentlemen, let's go. Let's go to this. Amen. Our spiritual talking points come from a theological gospel of John. He uses, and gentlemen, I want you all to follow this very closely. Amen. Because you all are going to help someone out there on tonight. The theological gospel of John, amen, and as a, as a professor, I must point this out to you. He uses most vivid Greek words, amen, Alizonia, Alizonia, which simply and practically mean Alizonia, practically means having self-pride. Y'all, y'all know it all, that, that self-pride. I'm not going to go in too much into that, but Brandon Sampson, I like the way he brought this, amen, in, in his spiritual time, amen, prideful, boasting, amen, braggadocious not representing divine spiritual laws. Amen. I'm, I'm quite sure the Lord is using this young brother, amen, Brandon Sampson. So I want to give him, amen, spiritual kudos for bringing this dialogue. Amen. amen. Not representing amen. divine. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen to him. Praise God. We're giving him some love. Y'all showing some love out there. Not respecting divine spiritual laws, violating human uh, rights. That sounds familiar, doesn't it, man? Just, it just sounds familiar. Amen. So the Alizon was the man who laid claims. And some people, if, if this fits those out there, they're putting themselves into this, in this category. The Alizon, as the Greeks spoke, the Alizon was the man who laid claims to possessions and to achievement, which did not belong to him, in order to lift him himself, himself up. In other words, in, in order to exalt himself. Y'all seen that? Y'all been around them type of people, men? <laughs> just, 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 just lift themselves up. Just pride, amen, amen. Uh. So the Alizon in today's world, amen, it still exists. The Alizon, these these people still exist, or these types of spirit, amen. They they braggadocious. So the man of the world is the man who judges everything by his appetite. The man who's in the slave of lavish ostentation, the boastful braggers who tries to make himself or herself out of a far bigger person than they really are. Mm-hmm. In other words, fabricating. Y'all know, y'all know what I'm saying. God oh, yeah. knows. Yes, sir. Y'all, y'all excited tonight. God oh, yeah. knows, gentlemen, we have emotional and psychological needs. He know it. And he knows we want to be wanted. And we can go back to the Garden of Eden on that. Amen. Uh, Pastor uh, Bishop Eric Williams going to eat that up. Amen. Esperanza going to eat that. John Ross. Y'all going to. I know uh-huh. Pastor Turner going to eat this up. Amen. So we're going to get it in this. We all remember the biblical story of Eve in the Garden of Eden. And it is said that she took the forbidden fruit from when she believed, amen, that it was desirable. That's the catch right there. Desirable to make one wise, knowing good and evil. In other words, she went after the pride of life. Okay, think of it this way, nation viewers. I want y'all to help us out. Those out there that are looking, uh, viewing by Facebook, think of your standards for what makes a person of the opposite sex appealing. I'm going to say that again. Think of your standards for what makes a person of the opposite sex appealing. Is it worldly standard or godly standard? Those are just rhetorical questions. Think of your standards for success. These are rhetorical questions. Is it worldly or godly? I think Brandon Sanson, he was, he, Brandon Sanson was in, he was in something on this. Think of your standards for spirituality. spirituality. Is it worldly or godly? There is worldly spirituality out there. And many people embrace it, even when they sometimes come into the ark of believing in God and accepting Christ. Sometimes they want to carry that with them. 
So to get an idea of this powerful topic tonight on this show, to get an idea of, of what we're talking about, they seek to make a powerful appeal to the lust of flesh, the lust of the eyes, or to the pride of life. And many people, many appeal to all three. And this shows how great our need is not to be conformed to this world, nation, gentlemen, amen, next man up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Be not transformed by the, be not transformed, amen. Be transformed by the renewing of your minds, amen, Romans 12 and 2. Don't be, don't be transformed to the world, amen. Gentlemen, let's talk about self-control, amen. Let's go, amen. Next man up. I want to, I want to pass this hot mic to this preacher man out of Louisiana gun down power up, amen. Minister. Eric Williams. Minister Eric Williams, amen, and to all the men on the panel, thank you for being with us once again. God values self-control, temperament, and generosity, and commitment to humble service. Did y'all, did y'all catch that, that humble service? And uh, Minister Williams, there is a difference between serving God and serving the world or serving in pride or your own self. In other words, wanting to be served. Y'all, y'all catch that wanting to be, sir. What can you do to me? Come on, somebody. It is possible to give the impression of avoiding worldly pleasures while still having worldly attitudes in the heart. That is possible. And people sometimes try to come into the church arena or they try to mislead people. And I'm going to leave it right there and pass the mic, amen, to Louisiana, amen. This is a powerful man of God. I follow him in his, on his ministry. Praise God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Next Man Up, activist, amen, and mentor, Guns Down, Power Up, Minister Eric Williams. Hey, amen. Talk to us a couple minutes on that, sir, and we'll go to our next God, man up, amen. Be the glory. To God be the yes, glory. Sir. I'm very thankful to be on this panel with you gentlemen tonight. Uh, let, let, let's look at it from the... Uh, perspective that there's all kinds of pride. Come on, there's Doc. all kinds of pride. Uh, we we have black pride, white pride, Mexican pride. We have all kinds of pride. But but here it is. Here it is. When it comes to God, we as mm-hmm. believers have to have pride and righteousness. We have to have pride and holiness. We have to have pride like in the truth. We have pride in so many things. Uh, when we get trapped is when we allow the enemy to start making us think about me, myself, and I. When we start looking at what we have accumulated, so we think. When we start looking at what we have learned, so we think. Knowledge will puff you up. Knowledge will put you in a place to where you think it's all about you, what you know from. Until you forget about your teachers. You forget about the Holy Ghost. You forget about God's presence. You forget about what keeping you. Your gifts will make room for you and bring you into the presence of great man. But your gift will not keep you in the room. Come on. Come your on. gift will not keep you in the room. Your self will not keep you in the room. That's why Paul said, I have to deny myself. Daily. Wow. Because we can creep that. we can creep into the uh, arena into what we think is all about us. Look what I have done. Mm-hmm. Isn't that what Satan did? He started to exalt himself and said he wanna rise up above God and, and exalt himself. And that's when the, the fall came. Let me tackle this right quick with Bill Cosby. Yes, Let me talk to this. As long as Bill Cosby had pride in Jello Putin. As <laughs> long as he had pride in talking about Jello Putin, he was okay. But Bill Cosby made a book, and I'm going to get off of this. Bill Cosby made a book. He made a book entitled, Come On, People. When he started talking about unity, when he started talking about us, you see, even God said, let us make man. See, pride is not all about self. It's about people. It's a, we have to have pride in the right things unless we fall. Hallelujah. Amen. Your gift, Eric Williams, your gift will make room for you. Amen. Your gift can't keep you in the room. 
I like the analogy, man. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in with the, this is Dr. Paul Kelly, and I'm talking with this next man of powerful panel, amen, Minister Eric Williams, amen, and he was talking about, amen, how do you value self-control and temperament, generosity, amen, a commitment to humble service. There is a difference between serving God and serving yourself or pride or wanting to serve or wanting to be served. And he used the analogy, amen, thank you, sir, Bill Cosby, a man had pride in jello pudding, but he got off track. In other words, uh, Minister Eric Williams, he kind of slid off the jello pudding. My Lord, let me keep this thing going, hey man. And you also made a reference of having pride and righteousness is where God wants us. Having pride and walking, a man, with God, your gift will make room for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, amen, you just heard from Minister Eric Williams. Next man up, amen, host of Elevation Radio. Pastor Steven, music man Turner. Doc, why is it important not to get caught up in in obsession? Why? What the the, the value of self control? Talk to us. Talk to the nation, sir. I just wanted to ask a question. Why do I always have to be behind Bishop Eric Williams? I set it up that way. The Holy Spirit. <laughs> Batman, he, Batman, he coming at us. <laughs> Talk to the nation, Doc. Hey, man, God has a sense of humor. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it actually keep you out of trouble. I was just watching a series uh, on, I think, uh, Hulu about um, uh, the Bible. And I, and I just got finished looking at it. And I looked at Judas. I call it the Judas concept, where he was actually, um, he fulfilled this actually in, in many, many ways. He attended every, every meeting. He saw every miracle. He kept the books. He had to be trusted. And um, yet the, the the tool in which he was actually, or the office in which he was trusted to do, is how he was actually weakened by the, by the Pharisees to take a bribe. That's something to take in there for, you, for a second. Uh, he could have just, just said, I'm just a treasurer. You know, I don't have any connections. I, I can't, can't get you into the room. I can't do anything for you. I'm not going to betray him, but he did it anyway. He st- stood up and and made a re- reverence that he he could get it done. Uh, he didn't know where he he was at the time, but he knew where he was going, and so he stepped up into another another le- level. Uh, he he had the I said the Judas concept. Uh, Lucifer did the same same thing. We get tired of sitting behind watching God get all the glory <laughs> and all the honor, and uh, we have to be careful when we sit behind. The God, the glory, the man of God. Uh, even as musicians, have to be careful sitting behind, uh, watching, and waiting for the past to get there. Because that's usually how as a Lucifer was. He was a glorious musician, and that's uh, the concept of the. Uh, that's how it enters the biggest organization in church is the choir. That's where he had most of the problems, most of the issues, and most of the arrogance. And it's, it was amazing that that Judas had the anger against Christ. Because he didn't do anything wrong, he just didn't like the fact that he was actually had to be the second man, and that's something to think about. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Tur- Turner. Amen. Music man Turner, host of Elevation Radio. Always have an honor to stopping by your show, sir. Praise God, and we pray that God continue to bless you, sir. Very important, sir. In the uh, theological aspect of why it is important, amen, if you're just tuning in to Next Man Up, we're talking about a serious topic of pride, amen, of pride, that self-pride, amen, that, that, that pride that gets you in trouble. Do not love the world, amen. Uh, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And he talked, amen, some real powerful subject, amen, I should say, response on Judas' concept. Don't have a, a Judas concept or, or I should say a contrite concept. Don't get caught up in yourself coming from Pastor Stephen Turner. That Judas concept is, is a concept that still exists even in families, even in a lot of our families. Jealousy. People will try to set you up, my God, because of that pride. Thank you. Pastor T- Stephen Turner. Hey Amen. Let's keep this mic going. Hey Amen. Welcome. Hey Amen. To Next Man Up Podcaster. Hey Amen. Artists, praise God, Minister Miguel Esparza, Minister Miguel Esparza, amen. Welcome, sir. 
keep it going, sir. Amen. Why why is it important not to get caught up in an obsession with one status? Amen. And and let, let's 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 keep it right there, gentlemen. We're gonna keep it right there because this is a broad subject subject and then we'll go into another subject matter. We'll close it out with God value, self control and temperament. You know that self humble the humbleness of of humble service. Amen. I, I don't want to mix these two together. Let's stay with this one right here, this first one. Why is it important not to get caught up in caught up in obsession, sir, with one status or importance of who they are? Come on, sir. Talk to us, Doc. Well, you know, first and foremost, pride is always going to point to yourself. Um, the biblical definition of, of pride is, is just uh, an, another word for self. That's um, it. Come on. It's, 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 you know, being braggadocious. It's, it's, it's a self-confidence. It. It's, it's boastful. You know, and, and so anytime a person is dealing with pride, you could always tell that, it's because they're looking at themselves, you know, yes. they're, they're looking at themselves as the source to whatever success or intelligence or, or whatever they've accumulated. I mean, that they're pointing to themselves. That's what pride will mm -hmm. always do. And I want to say this too, Pastor, you know, because see, yes, sir. pride is still really big in, you know, leadership in the church community. Yes. Um, and, and again, it's because see some of the dangers that when you get close to the Lord and you begin to accumulate a lot of wisdom and you get, you get to, you know, memorize some scripture here and there, you get to maybe memorize a commentary from time to time, Come on, Doc. you know, we, 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 we start trying to get arrogant in that thing. In, mm. in our own knowledge of who we think God is. Amen. Mm. And, and Amen. so many times it, it, it's kind of weaponized towards other Christians to make them feel less than. There's so mm. many brothers that I've talked to, you know, that, you know, we can't have a normal conversation without, you know, getting Amen. shot at, you know, with a 50 cal of scripture because they're yeah. trying to prove to me that they know more than me. Yes, sir. And automatically, it's a red flag, and I say, mm, "That's pride," because see, I'm not, I'm not here to compete or to outscripture you. You know what I'm so saying? Yes, Especially sir. when it comes to the things of the Lord. You know, that's mm -hmm. one thing we got to watch for too. You know, and and the pastor said a minute ago too. He mentioned about artists. You know, every musician, whether it be Christian hip hop, whether it be just full gospel, contemporary, whatever it is. Every artist, anyone with a talent, anybody that's anointed, is always going to be dealing with pride. Because that gift will always try to make you feel like it's you. Mm -hmm. When you get responses from the crowd and you get the pats on the back and all that type of stuff. See, that's why I'm really careful when I do what I do. You know, I make sure before I accept anything, before I go to perform anywhere, before I go to do anything of that nature, I always make sure where my heart is at first and foremost. Mm. And if my heart ain't right and it feels like it's an opportunity I can jump on, I immediately know I've been stung by pride. And I have to kill that right. thing. And I have to analyze that and say, Lord, is this where you want me to go? Is this beneficial for you, you know, and your people? Because pride is a beast. Pride will always take you down. So, I, I, you know, let's not forget that part, and I'm going to end with that, that if you exalt yourself, if you jump on the wave, the space shuttle of pride, thinking that you're going high, please believe that pride is the beginning of destruction. You're really on your way down. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. So we have to be Amen. careful. You know, when we deal with that, pride always points to yourself. Come on. Always remember that. And, and I will Hallelujah. end on that note, Pastor. God bless you, man. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. Minister Miguel Esparzo, thank you for, amen, sharing your, your spiritual, uh, I should say, revelation on uh, mm -hmm. pride, sir. Why is it important not to get caught up in obsession with one's status? or important of who they are or what they represent on this next man up 
topic, amen, if you're just tuning in to Jury Wars Live, amen, on this next man up, amen, we like to welcome, amen, each and every one of our men on this powerful men's empowerment. Thank you for the nation and viewers who are tuning in to next man up, amen, on this powerful t- topic, amen, activist mentor, Minister Eric Williams, amen, host, amen, of Elevation Radio, Pastor Stephen, Music Man Turner, amen, podcaster and artist, Minister Miguel Esparzo, and he was speaking, amen, make sure you know where your heart, he said pride is a beast, and pride is the beginning of destruction, that's biblical, praise God, and he also brought out a powerful topic, men, amen, in nation, once, once people in pride, once they think that they memorized the Bible, the comic commentary they think they've arrived look out for those kind of people amen they're carrying the the bible or things around in a suitcase and they think that they because if they capture one scripture (laughs) they think amen and you know that's the subject by yes sir minister miguel esparza thank you we're going to keep it going ladies and gentlemen thank you facebook viewer for tuning in thank you on this hot tub on this hot subject amen award-winning host Let's talk to the Lord. Hey Amen. I want to I want to pause for a minute. Hey Amen. And check with my producer. Hey Amen. And uh, on CEO Dupree, uh, CEO, CEO Dupree Orange, D.O. Is he in the house? No, Super Producer Dupree is not on the air. We had a mix up. So uh, he won't be coming That's on this okay. week. OK. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Praise God. Super. We're giving a shout out. Host of Let's Talk to the Lord, award winning host. Hey Amen. This gentleman is a powerful, powerful commentary. Hey Amen. Himself. Praise God. Let's keep this going. Amen. Minister John E. Ross. And gentlemen, we're going we to step it up a notch, so get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Amen. All right. Minister John Ross, let's talk to the Lord, sir. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the nation. Amen. Why is it important not to get caught up in obsession with one status? Amen. Once we come into the ministry of God, amen, and giving them to us, the importance, amen, the importance of who we are. Why is it important not to get caught up in obsession with one status? Nation, help us out. Amen. Viewers, amen. Chime in. Those on Facebook, get it, type your answers in and let us know that you're following along with us. Amen. The New Living Translation declares, for the world offers only craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but are from this world. Do not love this world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him, because the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God, meaning by obey his mitzvah, mitzvah means command, remains forever, declaring the kingdom of heaven as a part of our received rewards. This lesson speaks to material possession and evil any evil disposition, abusers, malice, troublemakers, and liars, the lust of the eyes and the hearts works together with covetousness. The hearts denoting satisfying our body and sensual pleasures, the eyes denoting riches and rich possessions, these are corruptions of the heart and are unfruitful and derived from a carnal mind. Check out episode 103 of Let's Talk to the Lord, Healing and Deliverance, where we talk about where this began when the first created collectively rebelled against the word and commands and the teachings of God not to eat. To eat means to commit the ungodly acts of or put into practice or to teach others how to commit this same sinful or immoral acts or in sinful indulgences or deeds. This is the fruit referred to in the book of Genesis to repent means to stop and to go the opposite direction and not continue, wow. but seek and ask God for forgiveness through Christ Jesus and turn from our wicked ways and have an ear to hear and obey the revelatory teachings and understanding the why of God's lesson to us. Understanding the lessons of God's words to us. 
powerful minister, Johnny Ross. If you're just tuning in, amen, you just heard Johnny Ross, the possible Johnny Ross, amen. If you're just tuning in to Next Man Up, Minister Johnny Ross, amen, came from a biblical point, amen. Why is it important not to get caught up in session with one status? And he so eloquently brought, amen, this very, very text right here in John. I like that. Uh, Minister Ross, amen, God is using you. He said, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. John, amen, what I just picked up out of that, sir, some people think, Brother brother Ross, that the worldliness is limited to external behavior. In other words, the people, uh, Brother John, amen, uh, the people like to associate themselves with uh, the places that they go or activities that they enjoy. In other words, uh, they, they, it, it seems like that they brag on all that, sir, for some reasons or where they've been instead of having a love and oriented aspect. John, that was that was eloquently brought, very eloquently brought, brought sir. We thank you. We thank you. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to sneak a man, Batman in on this. A man, if, if he if he be so I, kind I <laughs> I, I'm gonna oh, sneak him in. I'm gonna sneak him in here, Amen. Uh, to kind of stand in for Super Dupree, Amen. Uh, <laughs> uh, Owens, Do producer and Super Dupree. I'm gonna kind of sneak him in there. We was talking before the show started, Amen. On almost this very subject matter, this this pride, Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, award-winning CEO, very humble man of God, Mister Jerry Royce, Amen. In your own way, sir. Talk to talk to the nation. Just help someone out there in your own way. The importance of not getting caught up in obsession with one status or importance of, of who they are. Let 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 God lift you up. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, amen. Next man up producer of this very platform, Mr. Jerry Royce. What's up? What's up, family? Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on Next Man Up. Appreciate you guys every week. The way you bring this commentary. Awesome. And shout out to Brandon. Thank you, Dr. Paul Kelly. Well, I'm actually the wrong person <laughs> for this subject because I was way right. out there, man. I was way out there <laughs> prior to five years ago. Wow. Yeah. Um, you know, you and I was really, we got a chance to talk about this earlier today, too. And and I told you, Doc, I said, you know, Batman built, the, I said, uh, uh, God built a lot of us like this. <laughs> you know, why? Yes, sir. Who knows, you know, why he does things, you know, it's part of his master plan. Mm-hmm. You know, but when you think about, you know, some of the people out there that's been successful and and if you look at their, you know, what they were like early in their career, of course, you know, a lot of people who got a chance to learn the Bible a little better when they got older, you know, know exactly that, you know, God can take away anything. You know, he could take away your talents if you're not using it. He could take away your gifts if you're not using it. He can take away your gifts if you're out of control with it. (laughs) You know, it's like, you know, you got to find middle ground. You know, and, and, you know, and I'm, you know, and for me, you know, coming up, you know, in a, and, and, and Stephen can tell you, we came up at, in, in a high school where it was a mixture of different classes of, of uh, people, you know, cultures too. We had Asians, you had, you know, Caucasians, you had blacks, and you had some, you had a lot of African American kids that were from well to do families. Well, these kids could have very easily went to private school. And a lot of times you you were invited to their home. Some of these kids lived in mansions. Their parents literally were doctors, lawyers. Um, they you know they was in, they were general managers of of, um, of hospitals. You know, I mean, I had a girlfriend that actually lived in a mansion, and she had like they had they had three. I never met a family with three cars before back in the eighties. <laughs> you know, they weren't Fords wow. neither. So, you know, it's, that was a time when you know you had to had a, have a little chip on your shoulder you know kind of like a prime time in order to make it back then steve will tell you it was it was pretty rough man you you came from a a, a lower class family and you still had to come to school you almost like you had to fake it till you made it and and, and if you didn't have and if you weren't athletic and, and just think about some of the athletes man these guys uh, they had to compete you know this this society is very competitive so sometimes you have to find that edge and because you want to be successful and then you know because one thing we're chasing worldly things you know you want to live in a great neighborhood because you know what you were you i remember going to see one of my girlfriends and i parked my bike on her front porch for five minutes and it was gone 
when, when I got out there. But yet I had another girlfriend that one lived in the mansion. I could park my bike on the lawn and it would be it would be there after an hour. So, wow. you know, you have to think about where you want to be in your life. You know, where you how are you going to bring attention to the world because the world is going to make you successful. At least back then, that's what we thought. You know, when you think about some of your athletes, you know, some of the guys with the same speed, they can catch the ball exactly, they can throw the ball the same distance. Which one is going to make it? You know, which one do TV want, want their viewers to see? You know, so I don't know, I think the standards of the world kind of took control of a lot of us when it came to, our, you know, how we wanted to embrace be embraced by people because that's basically who you know you know you know the people around you you know your friends they say be careful who your friends are going to be you know if your friends don't want anything in life it's a good chance that you won't want anything in life you can just want to take things from people instead of earning those things and so it's like kind of trying to be humble in the beginnings to me was tough you know, even on your jobs, you know, how you going to stand out among the other people that's competing for that one slot? You know, most of the time, the quiet people that are humble don't make it that far. You say, yeah, that guy's real good at what he does, but he's he been sitting at the job for 30 years. Why? Nobody knows he's here. <laughs> you know, you hear that sometimes. And then the people that's real assertive, they make those people managers and they weren't really that great as an employee, you know, but they... <laughs> kind of knew how to promote themselves you know it's like everything is about marketing and promotion right now especially when we look at social media how humble can you be on facebook if you're showing everything you know like one guy i was listening to a a, a movie guy the other day and he said when you look at facebook it looks like everybody on there is living the perfect life they got the perfect business it looks like they're making money they balling they got these great music videos (laughs) that look like it cost them a million dollars you know, almost like an illusion. I'm yeah, sure. right. You know, you know, not talk about all the time, but social media is an illusion. People always. I mean, I remember somebody came and said, "Oh man, I, I thought she was. I thought she was downtown. <laughs> you know, in a, in a high rise in the skyline. It was a skyscraper. Yes, sir. You know, I said, no, right. I'm, I'm in a low rise. <laughs> I wasn't in a high rise. I was in a low rise. <laughs> but a bad, a bad. So I don't know. It's 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 tough when you're talking about um, you know being humble in this world it, it is it is tough you know but i think when you get there is when you got to display the humbleness to me is when you get there yeah you feel me on that one doc i feel you displaying your humbleness sir absolutely dr jerry Royce. displaying your humbleness hey man you want you want to keep that going go come on uh, yeah doc, well, you want to keep yeah it? keep it well one of the things i wanted to re- you know, remember when I when my brother and I first got into entertainment, we were actually um, we were actually modeling. It was a young lady was a designer. She was looking for some male models to be part of her, you know, entourage of female models. And my brother always wanted to do that. So I said, OK, so, I, you know, I used to take them to rehearsals. And of course, they always need more men. So then once, you know, you put on those those uh, custom fitted, custom made suits, there's no feeling like a custom made suit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> There's no feeling like it. You, you know, you put no on that suit, you like feel it. right. You feeling good about yourself, man. I don't, I don't know. You know where you are in your life. You put on a custom made suit. You know, you feel good. And Steve will tell you that he knows what it, what it feels like versus you putting on a a suit that you bought off the shelf versus one that was made for you. It's a different feeling. So when you get that feeling. And then when you're on a stage like that and you got all these people yelling for you and, you know, because we've been in competitions and things like that. And then working for a publisher who who said 100 being 100 percent being good at what being good and being the best was going to keep us in business and keep us jobs. Sometimes, you know, you were trained not to be humble, you know. When you're coming up wow. in this world. Wow. So you need the spiritual side in order to to you know, to become humble. It's like, okay, and you and then I know earlier I think someone talked about, you know, accumulating I think Miguel talked about a lot of people accumulating a lot of stuff. You know. He, you know, people buying stuff. You know, you got you got that hobby. You want you want really good golf clubs. You know, because you're going out there to compete with your friends. You know, it's like, oh man, I can't I can't drive that far with these Walmart golf clubs. I need I see I need some from a, a, a sports store, a golf shop. You know, 
So, you know, so and the next thing you know, you got three pair of golf clubs in your garage because you're competing. You want to be good. And then and then you go to a friend's house and, you know, he has a, a custom made Corvette in his, in his garage. Now, you want one. You know, sometimes it's, it's who you surround yourself around that make you want to get a lot of stuff. You know, friend just moved out in the suburbs. He's like, well, you go out to visit him. He's like, oh, wow, dude, this is a nice neighborhood to, to, to raise my kids in. It's it's safe. Well, of course, not all schools are safe now in these days and times. But back, you know, before it was, that was the whole idea to move to the suburbs is because you, you want your kids to be safe. And and that's that's another reason why you, you want to be successful. You got to compete. You know, some some people steal from other people to get ahead, you know, and that could be anything. Wow. Yeah, um, yeah. This, this, this could be this could be pretty deep, man. This this could be definitely a second part. But I, I was really feeling what Miguel was saying. Definitely was on board what he was saying um, about Hallelujah. you know worldly worldliness and godliness. It is Absolutely. separation. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, producer. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, producer Jerry Royce. Live such profound words proud of life don't love the world amen don't get caught up in possession and why is it important not to get caught up in possession with one status or importance of who they are or or who they represent this is the first part of this powerful topic amen mr joey royce touched on some power points amen nation if you're just tuning in amen he know he knows that uh god has blessed him and he knows the importance of teaching those amen uh those young men who are coming up even those who are coming out of prison Mr. Jerry Royce, myself, amen, we know that it's important to represent God, amen. And he used the analogy of having material possessions, wow, and how people handle them. How do you handle those possessions? How do you handle them, amen? And then he also said people chase worldly things, amen, and, and where you want to be in your life. And then this this is what he I, I like when he brought this part he used Facebook as an analogy of how people fabricate their lies and who they are and what they have. My God, amen. And instead of discipline, humbleness, he said, there's no feeling like a custom made suit. But I had to push that, amen, and saying being wrapped up in the spirit of God. That that custom made suit. Jerry, I caught that one, Doc. <laughs> amen. I like that. Amen. That particular custom made suit is what we want to be wrapped up in. The spirit of God. God suit. So some people, some people, and he ended by saying some people are taught not to be humble. Gentlemen, stay where you are. We're going to take a quick song break. Amen. And y'all get a you know a quick water break. Praise God. But we're going to come back with the second half of Next Man Up. God values self-control, and we're going to close out with that, amen, and you gentlemen can tell us, amen, how we can find you on social media, amen. Stay right there. Keep us locked in on Jerry Royce Live. We'll be right back after station break. You're listening to Jerry Royce Live, Worldwide Podcast. Humble young man, humble. Woo! This is Jarrell Golden of Holy Ground Music Group, and you are listening to Jerry Royce Live, Worldwide Podcast in Charm City. A quick question. Can you feel the power? Pray. 
raise this up. Cause nothing I do will ever repay them. Bought me a house, I'm fresh out of debt. Credit scores are 740, that's no brag, I give God the glory. You wouldn't hate if you knew my story. I wasn't smart, they called me stupid. My homeboys were so whooping. Some cousin and some blood, and now I got the truth and I give it to them. This is in my life, this is my life. I'm about with a price that's right, right. This is in my life, this is my life. I'm full of that light, no night, night. This is in my life, this is my life. He picked me back up. I'm here, Prozive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. Hey, y'all, it's Tanya Dallas Lewis. It's your girl, Summer. And it's your girl, Alacha. And we hope you can feel the power right here on, on Positive, Positive Power, power 21. 21. Woo woo! We're back with Dr. Kelly in the panel of Next Man Up. Don't forget, everybody, we're going to be in Charm City. Me and Lakeisha from the Lakeisha Moses Show. You catch you on Mondays at 9 o'clock. Right behind Reed, which is at 8 o'clock. Just right. Pep Talk Review is at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, Lakeisha Mosley. Then at 10 o'clock, you got Shay Samuels and Jerry Rose Live Worldwide. Our special guest is Gerald Albright's wife, Glennis Albright. She's going to be here to talk about her career. That's right, while she was supporting her husband. She's going to be right here with Sam with uh, Shay Sams at 10 o'clock on Monday. So come on out and hang with us. And again, we're going to be at Anthony Avery's CD release party on North and Charles Street. Come on out. It starts at 2.30, the red carpet. We're going to have a great time. Amen. All right, doctor, we are ready for next man up. Amen, amen. Welcome, welcome back to Next Man Up on the award-winning platform, Jerry Roy's Live, Worldwide Christian Media, iHeart, and Spotify. Amen. You've heard music by artists, Miguel Profeco Spraza, Not My Life. Amen. We thank you, gentlemen, for hanging in there. Praise God. We're getting ready to close this powerful powerful panic this powerful panel out amen and it is getting ready to get hot up in here gentlemen the pride of life subject amen subtopic do not love the world scripture reference first john two sixteen, and also romans 12 and 2 be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your amen of your mind praise god Gentlemen, let's continue. Let's close this out. Amen. God values self-control. Amen. Uh, guns down. Power up. Activist. Mentor. Minister Eric William. Sir, God values self-control and temperament and generosity. Amen. Uh, this is it is it is our soul duty and commitment to be humble and to have a humble service unto God. That that actually gets us into doors of treasure, what God has for us. I hope y'all follow that, amen. That humbleness, it unlocks doors, treasures, amen, that God has for us by staying humble. A commitment to humble service, and there is a difference between serving God and serving pride or selfish pride, your own self, wanting to be served. It is possible to give the importance of avoiding worldly pleasures while still having worldly attitudes in the heart. Minister Eric, Minister Eric Williams, 
We're going to ask you to leave us some words of Williams on this very subject matter. Amen. And please lend me your time so each man can jump in there and give them. We value each one of y'all time. What values are important to us as believers? There it is right there in your own way. What values, amen, are important to us as believers? Amen. Do our actions reflect the world? You, you, you let God use you. Let God use you, sir. Just please respect our time, sir. We got about 15 yes, minutes, sir. gentlemen, to close this out. One, one thing about the followers uh, that Jesus left behind, they yes, always sir. would refer to themselves as servants. Oh, Before they even, when you read and you see a servant of the Lord, and say, Jesus Christ, I'm a servant follower. They, they, they had a mindset of servant to stay humble so that we don't become prideful. We must be servants. We must look for opportunity to serve others, to love others, to respect oh, others, to give others that same respect that we desire because God does not respect a person. We have all kinds of different forms of pride. Which one? Or we encourage you. And I like to encourage the audience that's out there that's listening to read Proverbs 16, the whole chapter. But the key verse is 18. Pride goes before destruction, a hearty spirit before a fall. Hallelujah. Say that one more time, sir. Pride. Go up before destruction. Verse 18. By verse 16. Verse 18 says, Pride goes before destruction. A high spirit before a fall. Pride goes before destruction. Amen. You've heard it, gentlemen. Amen. Doc, how can we find you on social media? Powerful, sir. Pride goes before destruction. Amen. What values are important to us as believers? And that was very powerful. Being a servant. That's what Jesus taught his disciples. Being a servant. Thank you, sir. How can we find you on social media? And thank you for being on Next Man Up. Yes, sir. I'm very honored that you guys have given me this opportunity. I thank God for this opportunity. Uh, Facebook, Guns Down, Power Up. Facebook, Guns Down, Power Up. It'll pop up. You just hit search and wow. Amen. Minister Eric Williams, we thank you, sir. You are doing a profound job. Thank you for your contributions to this panel, and thank you for your contributions as an activist, a mentor. Amen. God is watching you. God sees what you're doing, sir. Amen. We love you, and we thank you for representing them young men out there in Louisiana. Amen. Host, amen, Pastor Stephen Music Man Turner, what did you glean, sir? Amen. When God, when God said, what values are important to us as believers? Praise God. Amen. And please respect our time. Amen. Gentlemen, you are bringing some powerful stuff on tonight. Amen. What say you, sir? Uh, I would say that um, we want to be Christ-like. If Christ was a maverick and a troublemaker <laughs> and someone who didn't follow the status quo, um, he was up against the Pharisees who were uh, older men who were stuck in their religious ways. And we, we can't be so stuck that we can't allow uh, the youth, because the youth can be anointed like David was anointed. We have to be open-minded enough to know when it's God and when it's not. And then if it is, is God, then let them flow and uh, support them in what, what's being done, because God may be doing a new thing. And he said, sing a new song. So why can't he do a new thing? Who are we to judge that? And I'm out. Yes, sir. My, my, I like that, sir. What values are important to us as believers? Ladies and gentlemen, you heard from Pastor Stephen Turner. I like that. What values are important to us? He, he just summed it up by saying, be Christ-like. I like that. Very humble. <laughs> very, very humble. Be Christ-like. Know, know who Christ is. Praise God. Sir, how can we find you? How can we get connected with you, sir? Uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter and them, LinkedIn, uh, um, 410-302-2737. And, um, uh, if I could link up with Bishop Brad Williams, that'd probably be okay, but he won't, he won't, he won't communicate. Oh, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to get in touch with y'all, uh, inbox, uh, 
into the panel, you know. Uh, we, we have to link up. Simply go to Jones Down Power, but we'll do that. Hallelujah. Praise God. There's the connection right there, sir. You set him up, Dr. Stevens. You set him up. And you got, amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Let's go to uh, award-winning uh, host, amen, of Let's Talk to the Lord, Apostle John Ross. Amen. We're going to ask him to close it out in prayer. But we're qu- quickly, sir, what did you glean when God shared, uh, showed us what values are important to us as believers? Please, sir. When Paul declared in Romans 12 and 1, and I am reading from the Weymouth New Testament version, Paul said, I plead with you, therefore, brethren, by the compassions of God to present all of your faculties to influence behavior. The other versions say your body to him as a living and holy mm. sacrifice acceptable to him. This yes, sir. with you will be an act of reasonable worship. For too long wow. we wrongfully interpret Paul as saying to have church experiences and get mm. yourself together. But the revelation to what Paul is declaring is that we need a God encounter and to ask God the Holy Spirit to teach us how to step back from religion and allow him to teach us how to mm. yield our vessels to him and allow God yeah. to take control and transform yeah. us to what is a pleasing and fruitful life that pleases God. And by doing so, we walk as Jesus walked. We walk as Man. Jesus Walk, amen. We need a God-like encounter, man. You've heard it, nation. Amen. You've heard it right here on Next Man Up, amen, with activists, amen, mentor, minister, Eric William, host, amen, of uh, the Elevation Radio, Steve Music Man, Turner, podcaster, and artist, minister, Miguel Esparzo, amen. We'll give a shout-out to CEO Super Dupree Owens, who couldn't make it tonight, D.O., amen, the award-winning host of Let's Talk to the Lord, amen, Apostle John Ross, amen. I leave you with these words of life. John Ross, stay where you are, amen. We're going to ask you to close us out in prayer, if you'd be so kind. I leave you all with these these words of comfort, these words of love, Love and time. When it comes to pride, amen, we need to do away with worldly thoughts and embrace it with love and time. Love and time. My final thoughts as I embrace in this powerful, powerful commentary on tonight, amen, Jeremiah spoke and prophesied out of love. He, He spoke out of love with no fear. And I shared this with a man of Pastor Turner on his show, but I want the nation to understand what love and time is. We should not have pride. Picture yourself on an island. Once, once, just picture yourself on an island where all of the feelings live on this island. We're talking about feelings. Pride, a man was on that island. Happiness was on that island. Sadness was on the island. Knowledge was on that island. And all of the others' feelings that I don't have time to go into. Amen. But picture yourself on this island. But most of all, what was stood out on this island was love. One day, it was announced on this island, amen, and to the feelings that the island would sink. Come on, somebody. So all of the feelings, a man left the island on these constructed boats. Some of these boats was lavish, a man. But nevertheless, all of these feelings left except love. Love said, I'm going to hold it out. A man so loved. A man love was the only one who stayed in love, wanted to hold out until the last possible moment. That's what you gentlemen are doing, amen, which many of us do when it comes, amen, to God's love. We hold out. So love wanted to hold out until that last possible, amen, moment, amen. So when the island was almost sinking, love decided to ask for help. The previous feelings, amen, who left left the island on boats were all passing by. First, richness was passing by. Y'all know about richness. It was passing by in this grand boat. And love said, richness, 
can you take me with you? And Richie just answered, no, I can't. There is a lot of gold and silver on my boat, and there is no place for you to fit on my boat. There's no room for love. So Minister Eric Williams Love decided to ask Vanity, who was also passing by in a beautiful vessel, Vanity, please help me. I can't help you, Love. You are all wet, and you might damage my boat. Vanity answered with selfishness and pride in her voice, amen, slowly passing by this island with sadness. Y'all seen sadness. Some folks just sunk in sadness. Sadness was close by. They were, she was close by love. So love asked, sadness, let me go with you. And sadness said, oh, love, I am so sad that I need to be all by myself. After all, I'm lonely and sad. That's why I don't want you on my boat because I'm lonely and sad. And sadness went off and sunk into a wave. And the next boat, as I close out, the next boat that was passing by, amen, was happiness. But happiness, ladies and gentlemen and men, happiness passed by love, amen, so fast. She didn't even hear love saying, can you help me? She was just in a hurry. And suddenly, and this is the conclusion, suddenly there was a voice, a wise voice. Come, love, I will take you. Amen. It was an elder wise voice, full of wisdom, so blessed and overjoyed. Love even forgot to ask the wise elder, where are they going? So when they arrived at this dry land, full of heavenly knowledge, time, and wisdom, the wise elder went on her way, realizing how much was owed to love. So love acts knowledge, which is another elder, who was that that helped me? It was time, knowledge answered. Time, asked love. But why did time help me? Knowledge smiled with deep wisdom and answered, because only time is capable of understanding how valuable love is. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our time, and we pray, amen, that you got something out of those final thoughts. We thank you for joining with us, amen, and we're going to ask Pastor John Walls once again, gentlemen, thank you for this powerful panel. We thank the nation. Minister John Walls closes out. Lord, we thank you for this gathering and this summit. Lord, we ask you to help us, Lord, and teach us, Lord, to take you as the pride of our lives and not to take pride in anything that is not accomplished in Christ. Lord, help us to go the opposite direction and not to continue but seek you, God, and Lord, we ask you for forgiveness. Forgive us, Lord. Turn us around the opposite direction and deliver us, Lord, because it's in you we live. It's in you we move, and it's in you we have our being. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Keep it locked in on the world winning platform, Jerry Roy's Live. Coming up, Late Night with Jerry Roy's. Paula G, feel the power with guest host Felicia Joseph. This is our time. God bless you and God bless this nation. You're listening to Jerry Rossi, Worldwide Podcast. Humble young man, humble. Woo! This is Jarrell Golden of Holy Ground Music Group, and you are listening to Jerry Royce Live, Worldwide Podcast in Charm City. A quick question Can you feel the power? Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti. But I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, positive power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. That's right. You tell him, Davidson. What's up, everybody? It's me, Jerry was live worldwide, aka the Batman Charm City. Don't forget, Lakeisha Mosey of the Lakeisha Mosey Show will be in Baltimore. That's right, tomorrow, starting at 2 30 for the red carpet event for Anthony Avery release party, his CD release party. So come on out and hang out with us. We'll be on North and Charles Street at the Cultural Center. Go out to his Facebook page for more detail. That's right. It's going to be simply, simply awesome. And um, come on out and get a selfie with the Batman. That's right. Come on out. Also, uh, don't forget on Thursday, we got a brand new show with Miguel Profet and Bishop. That's right. Brand new powerful show called No Judgment Zone. It starts at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, right here on Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. 
All right. And Monday, a powerful lineup. That's right, starting at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 10 o'clock. Come on out and enjoy our podcast. All right. And then on Tuesday, you got Bible study with Dr. Paul Kelly. If you're interested in enrolling in PTI Bible College, enroll right now. Go out to pastorstime.com. That's right. Start working on your bachelor, your associate's, your doctorate, whatever. Even your high school diploma, if you don't have it, we offer those courses as well. From accredited program in Minnesota Graduate School of, of Theology. Whole historical school. All right, so come on out to pastorstime.com and, and uh, meet up with Dr. Kelly. He will get you started on your online courses. All right, I'm Jerry Live Worldwide coming up at 11 30 late night with Jerry Live Worldwide and Paula G. The voice. Our special guest is Valicia Joseph. She's releasing a brand new video. It's right called Jesus. That's going to be premiering at 12 o'clock. But come on out and check out the interview at 11 30. Uh, Felicia is available for ministry if you need a performer. That's right, she's in the Florida area. She travels. Hook up with you first management with Dr. Trinell Stewart, the doctor. All right. All right, y'all. We're going to reset Facebook Live, so we'll be back at 1130. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jerry Bush Live. I'm Worldwide.